Hey guys, so obviously practice today, bye week. How are you guys feeling right now after the start you guys had to the season, tough away game stretch, and now kind of being back here on the bye week stretch? Uh, honestly, I feel good. I mean, 5-2, it's good to go into a bye week. Just We weren't very like down or anything about last week's loss. I mean, it hurts. No one wants to lose, but this is exactly what we want to be. Like Coach said, like, everything's ahead of us for sure. Yeah, it's just big about what he said. Like, we just gonna keep on working, keep keep pushing, take take it a day at a time. You know, uh, they didn't push it too, so we really sit in a good position for us. You know, it still hurts to take an L, but you know, we still gonna bounce back. We're just trying to make it better. So. Both you guys being younger guys on the team, on the depth chart as well, how do you guys feel about the way practice has been going for you guys individually? Obviously today was a more different speed, a lot of fun. You guys got a lot of reps in as well in the scrimmage. How did that How did that all feel today? It feels good. I mean, honestly, just getting the, on the offense, having the older guys look after us and stuff like that, having JT, Melquan, all of them look over us, having them talk to us. And so it feels good. Yeah, yeah it feels good every time. We get to come out here and have a good time, you know, work with each other. It's been a while since we got to come out here and work as a team, you know, all together. As we separate during the in-season practices, so it was good to have a little fun with all the guys and the rest of the team. To kind of speak on that part, how does that feel in terms of like your mental of like, hey, like it might not be my time right now where I'm like getting all the reps, getting all the touches, but if I keep working, like maybe it'll come or whatever. How does that kind of, how's that kind of mental battle go through for you guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's tough. I mean, uh, I put a lot of my, uh, a lot of my trust in, uh, my, in my faith, in God. So just like trusting Him, just trusting His plan. I mean, it's His plan. I mean, we can't, we can't worry about tomorrow. He tells us not to worry about tomorrow. So it's just simply just trusting His plan, just putting in the work. Coach Dilly just says, Coach Dilly. I mean, if you put in the work, you're gonna, get, you're gonna reap your rewards for sure. Put in the work, get what's work, get what you put in. And my faith in God every day, pray every day, keep my faith strong. And Derek, for you individually, I know a lot of the stuff during camp T in the beginning of training camp, there was a lot of buzz around you being a walk-on kind of player and not being a scholarship guy yet. What was the the mindset for you coming into this season and into this mode of like, hey, like just because I might not have a scholarship next to my name, that doesn't take anything away from me as a player and my abilities to impact this team. I mean, honestly, I, I never really impacted me. I mean, I came in knowing that I could do exactly what everyone else could do on this team. I mean, I play high school against a lot of these kids. I beat a lot of these kids. So it's just like, I, I work hard it's, it's, there's no difference. I mean, I, I can play against these kids. So it's just a matter of like getting a chance, an opportunity. And that's really it. It's just, just getting an opportunity. I took, took my opportunity. A lot of talk has been going around with Heinz Ward being as a wide receiver coach and how his impact and his ability to play at the, the NFL level has kind of impacted you guys at the receiving core. Talk to some of the other guys on the team about it. How do you guys feel about Heinz Ward as a position coach and how he's helped you guys out through this uh, transitional period in your college careers? I'm sure you could see it. I mean, from last year to this year, we, we look like a completely different room, just effort-wise, just us blocking and like, it's a completely different room. We have J even JT. I mean, JT, he didn't put that much in the blocking last year. And just Troy, just everyone just bought in. Like, you can't, you can't really not buy in his like, future Hall of Famer is going to telling you to do something. Like, you're going to have to do what he's telling because he's, he's done it. And if he, if he can do it, if he did it, and he can do it, then we should be able to do it. And we should, we should do it. Okay, so you can't beat the experience that he brings into the room. You know, uh, he has a lot of, like, nuts and bolts, like, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, little stuff that he tells us every, every day, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he tells us, you know what I'm saying, I'm Unc, we call him Unc in the room, so, you know what I'm saying? Like a family in there, but yeah, I'm sure you can see it, like he said, like from last year to this year, I feel like we are totally different room, receiver-wise, like, all the way down to every detail, like running routes, you know what I'm saying, blocking, um, finishing routes, you know what I'm saying, finishing all the plays, you know what I'm saying, just bringing more experience to the game and knowing the game. I feel like that's what he brought. Do you guys have a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations with Hines, like after practice or meetings or whatever, that kind of like maybe gives you that added bit of motivation to continue to go, and even when you're not getting all the all the time you want in games? Yeah, tra uh, traveling has really been a blessing this year. Just being able to like, we have a lot of friends downtime, so just being able to talk. Like, I mean, at dinners and stuff like that, we're the last two there sometimes. So I just just feed off them, just try and get as much knowledge, to little bits from them as I can. Yeah, yeah trying to get as much knowledge as I can from Ryan. You know what I'm saying. Just like him, really, you know, every, time, every time I come in there, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm focused. Tell me, you know what I'm saying? Don't get down on myself. My time will come. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused and work every day. And for you guys, too, what are the biggest things like that each of you think you've progressed on this year so far and stuff that you also feel like is like the biggest gap in your game you have to continue to get better at throughout the rest of the season and like into the offseason as well? Uh, I'd say 
I got better on is like my conditioning as a receiver. People don't realize how much you get to be conditioned because like, I mean, at this level, it's just like, you can't take any plays off. It's not like high school anymore. It's just like every play is on film and every play is being looked at by scouts and every play is just and just as valuable as the last, just if, even if you're not getting the ball. So you're getting graded on every play. So it's just really that. And I, I'd say that's approved, but I also say that's what I should be able to work on more too because I mean, you can't, can't really be the most conditioned. I mean, nothing can't hurt to be the most conditioned. Yeah, bet, yeah, for sure conditioning was a big part of my uh, improvement. I feel like the whole room yeah, has, improved, has improved on it. Just just based off of when Hines came in in, in the spring, you know what I'm saying? Because we've been doing crazy stuff since the spring, since he came in, like that we never even seen, that we even didn't even know existed. But it was like a workout that he did, and he put us through that. So I'm saying, like, as a, as a group, I feel like we all got better in conditioning. And then I feel like, um, you know what I'm saying, my, my knowledge of the game, a lot more in the past year since last season. And yeah, I feel like I can improve on both of those things even more. Even in my game every day, you know what I'm saying? You never can be too content. You know what I'm saying? You still get knowledge, you still get better every single day. So. If y'all don't mind me asking, what was the change in conditioning that Heinz brought down? I'm sure some like NFL type grade stuff that you guys maybe weren't doing before. We're not, we're not giving our secrets away. But okay, we'll do, we'll do. Coach, Coach Warrior, he's got, he's got something called the gauntlet. Yeah, he do, he do it before, uh, he do it before his camp seasons in, in the league. So like, I mean, I guess he would do it like a couple weeks leading up and just build it on the, this like, it's basically like, like Oh, really? I want to say like crazy combine. Yeah. Combined yeah. Really. yeah, it's just a bunch a bunch of routes mixed into one thing, and you do it over and over again, and you do it in like sets of racks, and so like and you gotta we finish do, at the end. Yeah, and you gotta come back and just keep going, and so it's just like we did like we built up to like like eight sets and stuff like that, and the first time we did it, we did like two sets, and we were all dead on the ground. So working up to eight sets like that is just like th things like that. You can you find motivation because you see how see how like how much better we got in that small period of time just just summer we did that just in the summer from two to eight in one summer so like imagine like what we're going to be able to do like after this year so like just being able to build on that with them it's going to be cool for sure and then how do you guys feel lastly about the team's progression obviously five and two right now sitting in a pretty solid spot in the standings in the big 12 from where you guys started off being ranked at in the projections at 16 in the conference what do you guys think now about the last stretch of the season a lot of difficult games up a byu team that's still undefeated kansas state on the road obviously a bunch of other good opponents as well what do you guys make of the last stretch of the season now you guys are going to kind of navigate these these few weeks like i said earlier i mean we uh, coach said we're, everything's ahead of us that we can do that we want to do and so like it's cool that we're in this position because I mean if you see like all like a lot of kids from last year just here that we're that we were here last year and like if, we, if you would have told us that we were in this position last year we'd have been like what no you're lying because like but we've worked like coach Jilly said we put in that work and like we deserve we deserve this for sure and like we can see like we're reaping the benefits of our work and just like I wouldn't say like none of us are like not grateful because we knew where we were last year, so like we're still working and we're we, we want more for sure. Yeah, face, we put in all the work, but I feel like the, the belief that we have in each other and our team is like up there. You know what I'm saying uh, we put in work since spring, since winter. Uh, I feel like we can compete with each and every team that we have left on our schedule. You know? uh, we just got to come in and put that work in every day, each week, keep our head down, and not worry about. Who is in front of us? Just worry about us and what we need to do to get better every day. Yeah, yeah like you said, like if you would have told us last year that we was gonna be in this position, we would have looked at you crazy because it's like, you know what I'm saying? The team that we had last year, nobody would have would have would have expected us to be here. So I feel like it's just a blessing. You know what I'm saying? The work that we put in showed under the light. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.